Today on Ham Radio q and I've got the five easy steps you need to get your ham radio license. So please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. So if this is your first time watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Well, my videos are enjoyed by both amateur radio operators and prospective hams alike. So much so that I repeatedly get similar inquiries and questions on how to get your ham radio license. So today we're going to go all the way back to square one and I'll outline the five easy steps to take so that you too can get your amateur radio license. But first, are you already licensed? Well, don't stop watching. I'd love to hear your experiences on how you got your license. So please leave them in the comments below. But next, let's break the process down into five easy steps. Step one, what do you need to know to get your license? Well, getting your license is not an overly difficult task, although it will take a little bit of work and effort. You'll need to pass the FCC's technician license exam in order to receive your call sign. The exam consists of 35 multiple choice questions derived from a publicly available pool of approximately 400 questions. Since all the questions are known, although you won't know which of the 35 questions you will receive, it makes the process of studying for the test a bit easier. In order to pass, you need to get at least 26 of the questions right. So what are you going to need to know to get your license? Well, the Amateur Radio License Exam covers four main topics. Rules and regulations, operating procedures, basic electronics, and simple amateur radio theory. There are 10 topics or sub-elements that the exam questions are pulled from. FCC rules and station license responsibilities, operating procedures, radio wave characteristics, amateur radio practices and station setup, electrical and electronics principles, electrical components, station equipment and basic troubleshooting, modulation modes and operating activities, antennas and feed lines, and finally electrical safety. Sounds complicated? No, it really isn't. The whole purpose of the test is to make sure you can operate your amateur radio equipment in a responsible and safe manner and have the basic foundation and knowledge to begin enjoying ham radio hobby. So looking at these topics, you'll probably identify a couple of the subjects alien to you, and that's okay. There are plenty of resources available to get you over those hurdles. Step two, finding a study resource that works for you. For a lot of people, the first thing that comes to mind is to memorize the question pool and brute force the exam. But that is an inefficient form of learning and I don't recommend it to anyone. Fortunately, there are many forms of study aids available, such as books by the ARRL and Gordon West. I like books as a paper copy in front of me works well for reference. But books may not be for everyone, so there are plenty of online tools to teach the exam. First off, the free video series by Dave Kassler breaks down the exam material in a systematic fashion quite well. If you have the time to commit to watching the videos, that may work well for you. Or an online resource like hamstudy.org may be the ticket. Many local clubs also offer free classes and study sessions. Getting connected with a club is a great idea as you may be able to link up with a more experienced ham that will guide you through the learning process. I hope you can find a method that works for you and your particular learning style. Step three, commit to it by setting a date. It's human nature to put things off unless there is a deadline. So create a deadline for yourself. Find a local exam session and mark the calendar. Give yourself enough time to adequately study, but not so far off in the future that you lose interest or take your eyes off the prize. It's reasonable to assume that you can study and get your license in four to six weeks. So find an exam session in your area and register for it. The ARRL has a list of local exam sessions on their website along with contact information. So go over there and register today. Step four, reinforce with online resources. Start taking sample exams online once you get a feeling for the material. Your scores will improve with time. Many of the online exam simulators will give you the questions in a flashcard style or as a simulated test. I prefer the simulated test as it generates the 35 questions for a more realistic experience. In my experience teaching classes and in giving exams, I found that if you hit the 80% mark on the example exams, you'll pass the actual test. And you won't have to ace the exam, just pass. Step five, go ahead and take the test. Ready for testing day? 
Well, the amateur radio license exams are administered by volunteers, and they're all cheering for you to pass. But they are also serious in their responsibility and will proctor the exam in a professional manner. You'll need to bring a form of government-issued identification, like a driver's license, passport, or current military ID. You'll also need a testing fee, which is typically $15. Pencils and exam materials will be provided. You can bring a simple calculator to the session, but you'll need to show that the memories in it have been cleared. If you pass your technician exam, you'll be given the option of taking the general test. I recommend you do it. While maybe only 20% of the people that take the general in this manner pass it, you're going to get a good taste for what's expected in the next level. And once you pass, your license and call sign will typically be issued in about a week. So what are your thoughts? If you've taken the test and got your amateur radio license, please tell us about your experience. Or do you teach and mentor other prospective hams? Let me know about your favorite resources and methods. Please leave them all in the comments below. I'll try to answer them and also highlight a few of the best ones in my monthly question and answer video. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. So if you like this video, give me that big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out some of the other recommended videos alongside me here. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Pressing subscribe notifies you when future videos will be released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.